what is zero and infinity we will try to understand this in universal number domain because the best value of pi is 3 on natural number line but on real number line it's 3.141 dot 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 similarly universal number is the largest domain that is best suitable to understand zero and infinity and also one the key interconnected mathematical expression between zero infinity and one are expressed as following 0 1 infinity are not just numbers they are even more than that involved in creating multidimensional number line so 1 times 1 1 times 2 1 times 3 is a regular real number line that is named as unity dimension similarly i times 1 i times 2 i times 3 is regular imaginary number line that is named as imaginary dimension And similarly, zero times one, zero times two, zero times three is also a number line named as zero dimension. And infinity times one, infinity times two, infinity times three is also a number line named as infinity dimension. So this set of numbers are exactly same as real number system. However, all these numbers are used in scientific level application as it gives higher accuracy and precision. but it's difficult or time consuming to solve with such precision hence natural numbers are used in daily common activities so how actually this is scientifically connected is we operate in real world with real numbers so only real numbers should be enough but then why other numbers are required that is because of these relations so involvement of pure other dimension numbers on lhs side give rise to pure real world numbers on rhs side of the equation hence understanding of zero and infinity is also important as in science things go reverse or back and forth too or can be part of cyclic process too if you have five apples and you give two apples to someone else you are left with three this is real numbers but in universal number you are left with 5 minus 2 is equal to 3 plus 2 times 0 that 2 times 0 indicates it's gone from you but it's still there somewhere or with someone and if any reverse operation happens it can come back to you and then you ate one apple so one apple is gone but it's still there in some or the other form it becomes 2 plus 0 times infinity plus 2 times 0 Zero times infinity is one. It's one apple, but it's been grinded in infinite pieces. But it also indicates that if those pieces can go into some process, it can become one apple again. Now, how apple creates one apple? Initially, there is zero apple, but it takes infinite flow of molecules of certain limit and creates one apple. So, in small closed system, you can easily confirm this cycle of zero apple that turns into one apple, that turns into infinite pieces again. which means zero apple and cycle continues in universal numbers when we count unit 1 unlimited or countless time the final sum is defined as infinity and if we divide the unit 1 uncountable times then it gives inverse of infinity that is defined as zero but instead of unit 1 if we sum 2 uncountable times its sum is 2 times infinity and 2 times infinity is different than 1 times infinity similarly 3 times infinity is different than 2 infinity or infinity and general logic is expressed as if a is greater than b then a infinity is greater than b infinity and a infinity is not equal to b infinity and same logic applies for 0 and 1 too if they are present instead of infinity and the interrelation between these numbers are same as mentioned earlier So once we know zero, one, infinity, there comes multi-dimensional universal number line that expands infinity over infinity to entire universe, just like our universe does. Everything is made of some building block entity, and that building block entity is again made of some other smaller building block entity. Or in reverse way, a set of entity creates something bigger entity, and that bigger entity will involve in creating even more bigger entity.